Hey, 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 Stars. My name is Cole Senpai. I am an award winner cosplayer from the STL area. And today I'm going to show you how I made my Harper Finkel's Duck Dress from Wizard of Every Place. Yes, literally the duck dress that she wore from the Disney sitcom Wizard of Every Place. When I first saw this dress, I was like, yes, I must have that in my hands. I want that. <laughs> I want to wear it. It's pretty simple how I made it. And you can use this, not a tutorial to make your own, but. I don't recommend this because I mess up a lot. But it's okay. I'm not here to be perfect. I'm here to have fun. So, other than that, I'm going to show you how to make Harper Finkel Duck Dress. So, let's go. Okay, so first I cut out the pattern for the dress. I used this pattern right here. Even though it was $11, I don't know why the pattern was $11. I don't think it was worth $11. That's why I make my own patterns. <gasps> but it's okay because I was doing it for Harper. Why well, I be on my knees for, since for ever for like that was gonna catch on fire i pinned the blue kind of fabric that i got from wholesale fabric direct that's basically where i get all my fabrics because why not because i don't like going to joanne's <laughs> nothing wrong with joanne's i don't like going to the store because i'm lazy i'm not an outside person i like to stay indoors so order all literally all my stuff from online but that's helpful for me you want to go outside go outside i'd rather be inside now i am cutting one of the many pieces to the dress i didn't know dresses had as many pieces I may say I'm a ward when a cosplay, but low key when I make cosplay, I still don't know what the <laughs> what the hell I'm doing. I'm like, oh, I gotta attach this. I gotta attach this. What part do this go to? I don't know sometimes, and that's shocking. Feel like, oh, but you make your own cosplay. That do not mean I know what I'm doing. Low key, I'm just winging it. I'm winging it every single part of the way. But that's okay, cause they still turn out perfect. How they turn out perfect, I don't freaking know. Don't ask me. And now here is me reading the instructions because like I said, cosplay or patterns, this I make my own patterns because if I make my own patterns, I know exactly what I'm doing. Now, the shower curtain. This is an actual shower curtain that I got from Amazon. I got it because of a water design that I really like. You're going to see soon why I like the water design because Loki is just so pretty in the sunlight. Okay, now I'm painting. I'm painting the pattern. I was going to use permanent marker, but I will stain the shower curtain. So we didn't do that. So we're just painting it and we can just easily rip the paint off. So we just painting, making sure everything's okay. Good job, good job. Now we cut in the pattern. Gotta make sure we cut it correctly. If we fuck up, then um jump up. <laughs> I ain't fan blame me. I ain't fan blame me. Slowly, slowly, why are you doing it so fast? Oh yeah, the speed. <laughs> I fast forwarded, that's what's going so fast. Okay, now I'm going to wipe the paint from the shower curtain. I use hot water for this. And boom, it's clean. That fast. Magic. <laughs> Just pure magic. And then I'm going to lay it down. This is the front of the dress. Lay it down. Lay it down. Lay it down. I'm, I, look, I'm singing and you're not following directions. Good job. Good job. So we lay it down. Make sure it's centered and perfect. At least near perfect. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to pin it down. I use a lot of pants. I had to order some new ones off Amazon. See, Amazon. That I sold it very slowly. Very painfully slowly. And then here's me trying to figure out what. <laughs> what go to what because low key was confusing. And then I'm finna sew the shower curtain to the back to the back. That was the way. That don't make no sense. I need to cut this in half. So that's exactly what I did. I pinned it to the thing. It don't look pinned, so I didn't. And I just cut it in half by faith. <laughs> and hopefully that turned out right. <laughs> okay, interrupting me. Go ahead. Be cute. I'm girl. Hmm? This is crazy. Like, you deserve a donut. Yeah. Oh. Really? Hmm? What kind of donuts do I deserve? Ooh, that was like. <laughs> huh? They're like giant. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, look, first off, <laughs> these three down here are mine. Oh, okay. I'll let you have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> that look delicious. <laughs> well, that should be beyond the stick. If not, we're gonna find out later. <laughs> <My favorite. laughs> Lunch break. 
Okay, now at the lunch break, now I pin the halves to the back very carefully. And this low key took a while, so I kind of had to make sure they was even on both sides. Cause if it wasn't even, then it wouldn't look right once I saw it. And then so, so, so. Give me up, right? That's what I'm thinking. So the back gonna have the other piece, right? Right, hear me out, hear me out. And then I can get some sour, sour, sour curtain, shower curtains, and make like a triangle piece right here. So it can puff out more for the petticoat. And hopefully I uh, fix this whole thing. This is why I make my own patterns, cause nobody got the dog. <sighs> Literally, the exact why I make my own patterns. So I kind of messed up because I was trying to make it as short as I can for the petticoat, but it didn't go well. So now I gotta make a triangle fitting for the size. And low key, this turned out cute. So it's okay. Like, look how cute that is. I know it's a little bit uneven. Do not judge me. Trust the process. Trust the process. I hate trusting the process. Process. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sleeves. Mm -mm -mm. When I say I don't like doing sleeves, sleeves is my worst enemy. That's be just because I'm still learning how to do sleeves, so it's okay. Sleeves not that bad. Cause you just learn how to do sleeves, you'll be just okay. I promise. And this is the pattern that I did for the sleeve with the shower curtain. I think it turned out very pretty. And here's all the pretty needles that stuck me and made me bleed for the last 30 minutes while well, pinning it. Be careful when you use pins. They are dangerous. Evil little things. Evil little things. Here's me trying on the dress for the first time. The sleeves are puffy. I didn't expect them to be that puffy, but I liked it. So it's okay. It's okay. Now the zipper. Putting on the zipper. Got to pin the zipper to the dress. And I ran out of thread. <sighs> this is so short. Like. <laughs> That's how short it is. Definitely the back, like, woo. <laughs> there won't be no panty shots for this cosplay. And here we have 60 lovely yellow ducklings that will be sacrificed for the Harper, AKA the Harper duck dress. Don't mind the screaming in the background. That is me, they like it. Don't you scream when you're having a good time? I know I do. No pause. Anyway, yeah, so I cut the duck season. <laughs> I cut them in half. And I had to sacrifice them to use the duck dress. They life did not go in vain. Or death did not go in vain. I'm pretty sure they liked it. And this is how I'm gonna lay out the ducks. Very symmetrical, very even. Okay, so I tried sewing them on and I literally put a needle through my finger. Again. <laughs> so I'm gonna try hot glue it, so hopefully that works. No, seriously, I put a needle through my finger. That bitch hurt. But it's okay because the sacrifice had to be made. Then for the I'm falling. Um, hello? Kudo. Kudo. I'm falling. Falling. Help! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I am hot gluing 60 ducks to this Harper dress. Was it worth it? Yes. Did I get hot glue burns? Yes. But are you really a cosplayer if you don't get hot glue burns? Think about it. Think about it, think about it. And now you see the lovely, the amazing, the fashion icon, Harper Finkel's duck dress. This took about 60 hours, but it's okay because every time was worth it. I love how it turned out. It looked just like the drawing I made from the example I wanted to be. And yeah, this is me having it on as the cosplay. I think that was my shock looking at myself I'm so freaking pretty in cosplay. Why can't I always look like that? But that's me putting on the hat. Now I have the hat or how I made it in the next video. So if you want to see the actual pictures of me wearing the Harper Duck dress, just check out my Instagram and my TikToks where you can actually see the dress in action. And of course, I gotta give a huge shout out to my stars on Patreon. Literally, this project would not have been done without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you want to help me make more cute projects like this, just go to my Patreon, which is the link in my bio. So thank you. And that's all I have for this video. If you like the video, make sure that like and subscribe button to see more of me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, bye, Earthlings. Bye, this night gaming video soon.